Did you hear the rats last night? All the time. Every oh. day I'm cleaning. Every day. And do you hear them in the ceiling? Oh yeah. In the even in the I can smell it. In the what they call it? Inside the walls. Inside the walls. Where do you hear most of the activity? Is it in here? Can you show us in your house? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. I hear on this part. This right wall. here. Yeah. Okay. The more poo poo yesterday I saw is more than any anything. So you had so more yesterday poo -poo. was more poo poo. Yes, I clean up now. That's why I always every day I'm cleaning because okay. the smell. Yeah, the smell. The pee pee. Yeah. Okay. But you've never seen one inside the home. No. no. This is the tenant's house here. The owner lives in the very back of the house. So let's go meet Anne, the homeowner of this entire property. I think she is the one that's really caused a bad rat infestation. We're not only going to show you how to get rid of a rat infestation, but we have a special guest today that flew all the way from New York City. Hey, my name's Oliver Wang. I'm a reporter with the New York Times. I'm out here watching the twin home experts trap some rats. Want to see how it's done? Maybe bring some tips back to New York City. They're doing a huge story right now in New York. As everybody knows, New York is trying to hire that czar rodent control for the city. And so this is a hot topic right now. So we're honored to have Oliver here follow, especially in this particular job, because there's gonna be a lot of trapping tips that we could offer him. What we're gonna be providing is how smart these rats are and how you have to be very strategic when you're trapping so we can't wait until we start doing all the exclusion work and we start trapping meow yeah this is where all the rain water is coming in yes. see that's oh, my chewing books. your books yeah that's the nest back there okay oh wow you okay babe? Yeah. oh it's so bad do we have a stick or something we can you have a here, here, here. Let's go get Anthony and we'll vacuum this up. A lot of you guys ask, well, what starts a rat infestation? The biggest thing is food source. Food source around the exterior portion of the property. Also bird feeders, dog food. All of those cause a rat infestation, especially if there's a lot of food outside and there's entry points going to the inside. That is a perfect environment for rats. Are you helping them by feeding just a little bit? Yeah, okay. How are you feeding them? With bread or peanuts? The bread. I pay them into small pieces. Okay. They love it. Because they love it? Do they like peanuts or bread better? What's, what do you think their favorite bait is? Bread. Bread. Because easy to chew. Oh my god. Look at the suitcase. This is really rough. So, and it's going to be important. When we do the cleanup, we set our traps up. You cannot feed them any other location. Otherwise, it will take forever, And This is their plate, and that is their plate. So you put food there, and they eat it all? Yes. Okay. Can you show me how you feed them? This is their bread. This is their dish. So that's for the rats right there. Yeah. So let's cut a few, and let's see. Do they come out sometimes when you feed them? They are not afraid of me. Just a sweet, sweet, sweet lady though. Okay, Anne, show me how you feed them. I make them into pieces. Okay. And then oh. I pile them up and I put it underneath. Do you fill the whole tray up or you just put a little bit? Half of the tray. And how long does it take for them to take it away? <sighs> Nothing. So if I put it there, will they come out? If we are here, no. I disappear and then I... Come back and it's gone. Yeah. Okay. Why do you feed them? Yeah. What a good question. Why do I feed them? My parents are from Big China, uh -huh. so I belong to not Big China. Xiangjing, Changcheng, and Nei Di Fang. They have temple for rats mm -hmm. in Singapore, in Hong Kong. What'd you find, Anthony? I was looking at this because she said the rats were coming through here. Yeah. And then I found some peanut and rat droppings right yeah. under this. So you can see those two pots there, you guys. They're full of peanuts. She's feeding the, the squirrels peanuts. And then the rats and squirrels get inside here with these entry points. Here's the peanuts that she's been feeding. I mean, just tons. So there's two entry points that I found on the lower level here. It's unbelievable how they would come between the metal door and the metal frame. They chew their way through here to get up into the attic area. The they, food is gone. There, 
Oh, okay, and they, they already ate it. it. They took it already. Yeah. All right, so Dave's gonna go ahead and get a camera in place. So when it comes to rat infestation right now, all our focus is to seal up every single hole around this house. Roof, crawl space, around the perimeter, every little hole, then trapping. The reason why all of the exclusion covering all of the holes is super important is because when we shake them out and we move all of that furniture, they're gonna run into different places and we don't want them to go back out. We wanna block them into these four walls and then we're gonna set up our traps. I've got a sheet of plywood because there's some weak spots. We literally can almost fall through. We're gonna secure down roofing uh, material that we're gonna put over this. And that way it won't leak anymore. Then we're gonna seal all this up as well. We pulled out the metal screens that the other pest control company screwed here. The sun and all the elements outside rust out the metal. So what we do is we just take a piece of half inch and a half coupling or whatever size pipe it is. And then we made these little screens that just drop down like this. And we just spray a little bit on top to waterproof it. Like that. It's very rare that you'll see rats come through a sewer pipe. They'll get in from like a bathroom vent pipe. Why uh, is that? Sewer rats will come from below and then they'll make their way in. I'll try and remember that. I got a little movement on my phone. Check it out. They're active. So when you deal with rat infestation, you gotta have a variety of trapping. And this right here, my friends, is a game changer. Go through this tube inside there, they go straight for that bait, and then the sensor picks them up and extracts them into the vacuum. So we'll get all this recorded here and see how many rats we can suck out of here. We're gonna set the twins rat vac in this area. It is going to be super important that you don't feed them in your plates. Let us do the feeding from here forward, okay? I'm not going to, I, I cannot say it, but I'm not going to feed them anymore. Huh? I know it's hard. Yeah. But they're destroying your house. So I was walking right here, a big rat just came. Came out of this hole right here and then ran this way here. So, let's get him out here. Could be underneath this couch. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is, there it is. There it is. I knew it, I knew it. That was a big boy. So he got away. This is the most dangerous rat trap you'll ever see. I had one, he got in there and was able to contortion his way right out of it. And from then on, I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna mess around. So this is one way to keep him in the kill zone. That's ruthless. I hate to be a rat. So we've got the Weiss camera. We've got the twins rat hood. And then we have the bait tugger here. So we'll monitor that and see what we get. We went ahead and left this open because we know that this is the runway. That's what's great about the bait tuggers is you're able to put a variety of bait. So in this case, we're using the bread that these rats are already used to. Right. Look at how it just literally just sets, in, sets place in, place in place there. And then they come in and they got a tug, tug, stay in this. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and set it inside that closet. Okay, we're gonna get the rat back set up here in this kitchen. Just add a little peanut butter into those ports. And the vacuum, what's great about it is this right here swings towards the vacuum and allows the rat to bypass it. And then it's ready and already baited for the next rat. That's smart. Day two. All right, guys, as you could see on that monitoring camera last night, we got a big one. So let's open up the garage, check them out. And then, Anne will also be ready for us to go inside the main house and see if there's anything from the twin rat back. So let's go check it out. Ooh, that's a big boy there. Look at how the razor just literally sliced him. That was pretty gruesome. Now, let's head inside the house and check the rat backs. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah, we got two. We got two. With the twins on, it doesn't smell at all, you guys. 
All right, guys, we have a big, big day here today cleaning out this kitchen. You can see here we created a rat barrier, and then we have the one rat back, the other rat back, so when they scurry off, I'm hoping they can go in. And this is what it looks like on the other side. Got two vacuums. And start with the refrigerator. See what we can do to pull some live rats out of here. Oh my gosh. Keep passing through there. Going through the other neighbors over there. Yeah. Give me a trash bag, you guys. There's two. There's two right here. They're in the wall? Okay, so we got a couple live ones here. Nope, they're gone. They're gone? Mm hmm. Yeah, they went to the dryer vent. Oh. I saw the tails of two. Let's clean house. We're gonna remove this plywood right here, exposed inside that wall cavity. Oh. Wow. Well, sir, I think we hit the jackpot. In the very beginning of this episode here, I was telling you about all of the peanuts. Well, that just shows you how a rat infestation can begin. Rats will drag this food and go right into the nearest nesting site, which was Ann's house. All right, so we're gonna get the kitchen back together now, now that we've got all the rat nesting materials. We excluded that. We're gonna set up a rat trap, a couple of them in the crawl space. So we'll get Ann's kitchen back together so she can function tonight. And then we're gonna move into that next room. Ooh. He's stuck in that wall. Good thing that we excluded that one hole that went down to the crawl space, so we should be able to get him. Look at he's chewing that foam to get out. It's too verde. Let me see. Let me go. Yeah. Yo te digo pando, eh? Yeah. I'll let you know what. Up the vacuum with a little bit of water so he doesn't jump out. These rats are so agile. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Watch out, he'll jump. Okay, I'm gonna go call bait. Yeah. It's okay, cool, Suck the live one, Dave. Help. Oh. You trying to run back to the to get out? And so he was on top covered. of the fridge and he leaps over us and goes in back into his wall. Oh, into the wall. And then the back case. Huh? No, no, no. We, no, got, we got him in the wall. Thank God we covered that hole. Otherwise, he would have been in the crawl space. So he got stuck there. Look at how good these rats can jump. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm a fighter. Oh. Nice. That's a big one there. Well, what do you think, Oliver? This is awesome. Isn't it amazing how fast they can migrate in the home and have all of those nesting sites? It's like they're attacking all the weak points in the home, getting around all parts of it, so then you have to right. seal it off. You have to almost think like a rat. Yeah, exactly. So now you guys understand why I put water in that drum. Even with water in it, that rat was ready to jump out. If we didn't have any water, guaranteed that type of rat would literally jump out of that uh, vacuum drum. So. That was exciting. Great improvement. 
more than great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You have to learn to get rid of just a few things. That's yeah, all. that's the thing that's I have to it's learn. Very it's important. very mental, I know. A lot of times we get attached to certain things, but little by little, Anne, we have faith in you. Yeah. Look at the peanuts. Oh, you boy. Peanuts, that's why Anne. I'm losing peanuts. You, you see. Yes, you could have supplied the Dodger Stadium with those peanuts. It's amazing how much cleanup we performed today from the kitchen to that bedroom area. Amazing, amazing what we've done today. Super happy with getting those rats too. All right, so we're gonna go in the main house here. Get things set up in the attic area. This is inside the duck plenum, all the peanuts. I think it's pretty bad. Sewer rats, Jimmy? Yeah. Wide open pipe. So we're gonna set up our monitoring camera in our attic rat trap here with the hood and the uh, bait tugger. Amazing how these rats have taken over this property. It's absolutely just beyond me. I'm surprised that we're even catching anything with the amount of food that they have here. Now finding this open pipe here is just brings this job to a whole nother level. Just because it's late in the day, I'm gonna go ahead and pack that vent with a wire mesh so they don't come in and out. And whenever rats are stuck in here, we're gonna go ahead and trap them. Day three. All right, the team did all of the attic cleanup, got rid of all that peanuts inside that HVAC, got rid of the duct system. So we're gonna go ahead, we got a rat on that monitoring, check it out. That's what I love about the twins rat hood. They get in there deep and bam, gets them every time. Would you like to see the rat dance? Let's see. David, do the rat dance. 